Hello, everyone. This is Paul with Jones and Four Tools live at the JFT studio. Today is a very special day. I just picked up this five drawer tool cart, U.S. General from Harbor Freight. I was trying to figure out if I should buy this one or the six drawer mechanic cart from Harbor Freight. Uh, I was torn. Uh, this one on sale, I think I paid with tax $250. Uh, the bigger one um, was, uh, what the heck was it? It was $699, uh, I think. Yeah. And a lot of times they'll, they'll have it on sale for uh, $599. But anyway, so let's say I could have got it for $600. Bucks. But the, the, the reason why I bought it is because I've been using uh, these two 44 inch top and bottom ones, but I outgrown them. I got I got too many dang tools, so I needed extra room. And uh, I really wanted the bigger one, uh, the six drawer one, and uh, I liked it because it had bigger drawers and it didn't have that void down in the bottom of the orange cart. But the, it was more than twice the price. And I had another issue. My younger son wanted one of these cards for his birthday. And uh, and I was like, dang, should I get the big one I want? Or should I get two for the price of one and still save a hundred bucks? So I ended up saving money and I bought him a cart. Uh, he got the gray and black one though. Uh, and we'll do a tool review on that here in the near future. But anyway, so I got it set up. Um, I got it loaded down. I'm not sure if it's going to stay this way. I, I wanted this cart to, to bring out of the shop and into the bay to work on vehicles. Um, but the way I got it now, it's actually, it's too dang heavy. Uh, I should have just put, you know, the tools in it that, that I use on a regular basis. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to show you my situation. So I got to bring it out this door here. And uh, um, I got, first of all, I got to put some cement so I can have a ramp going up. And then, well, it's dark out here. But anyway, um, this is the shop area. Uh, as you can tell, um, or maybe not because it's dark. But anyway, um, so, so anyway, the, the main thing is, is it gave me more room. So, so I've had one of these five drawer tool cars before. Actually, that was one of the, the first ones I had before I bought these two big ones. Uh, and I liked it. Um, but at that time I grew out of just a five car tool cart. So I got this big one and then eventually, uh, I sold the, the blue five car or five drawer tool car that I had and I missed it, but I had this big one and then eventually I bought this bigger one right here. So anyway, um, let's go into what this one is all about. Uh, I turned on the flashlights to light it up a little bit more cause I don't have great light in this shop, but, uh, but let's take a look. Uh, I guess we'll start over here. Now I got this new um, uh, Pittsburgh or US General uh, magnetic uh, power tray, whatever. And uh, this is where I keep my uh, Milwaukee stuff and my uh, big old craftsman, I call it grandpa. Um, I got the Milwaukee 12 volt, ha uh, half inch, uh, yeah, that. And uh, three eighths ratchet. Um, and uh, this one, um, <coughs> they're great all of them um, got the green uh, uh, whatever what are they uh, yeah yeah the nitro gloves right mechanic gloves and then over here of course you have the uh, tray to hold your fluids and WD-40 uh, brake part cleaner yada 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 uh, and then uh, over here I put the hammers um, and these are the the 
what are these called? The Wilton Smash Hammers. And these are great. Um, I just put a couple of them. I got a big black one uh, that's rubberized and uh, it's huge. Um, then we got this one. This is the Amazon something or another, but it works good. And then uh, I think this is plum. Yep, plum. Anyway, so let's see. I'm gonna try to keep this camera straight on my low over the plate. We got a couple of Phillips Tecton screwdrivers. Um, we got this uh, uh, gear wrench bolt biter. It's part of the bolt biter set, but uh, it has the, the end where you can hit it and it twists. Uh, works pretty good. Um, it's actually sim similar to uh, the vessel, uh, but I love the vessel more. Then we got the, uh, uh, with Klein tool, multiple, whatever, doohickey. Uh, works great. Uh, now, one of my favorite screwdrivers is the Carlisle set. Uh, this is the big number three Phillips. I love these handles. Okay, this is just a, um, uh, a kit to go from like a half inch to three eighths, step up, step down, yada yada. Um, all right, let's start. Let's go over here. This is just an old big flat tip screwdriver used as a pry bar and Lunkin tape measure. Um, uh, the Dominator pry bar set. I got the three smaller ones in here. This right here is an old uh, screwdriver. This is actually my dad's, one of the few tools that I have of his. He was a uh, mechanic for Ford. Um, let's see. And uh, let's see, what else? Another Carlisle. Uh, and then here's the, the flat tip um, gear wrench one. And then of course, you know, some Tectons. Now I do love these Tecton, uh, I, when I turn this, I mean, this, I like this grip. I'm able to, I, Tecton did really good with this design here, but I don't use screwdrivers all that much. Uh, Cause I use, I like to use these bits with my, uh, Milwaukee tools over there. But anyway, all right, so let's look at flashlights. This one is uh, the Nebo. Um, it works pretty good, you know. Uh, I like it because I take this clip and I put it on my, my shirt and uh, uh, I just walk around and, and use it hands-free. So that's one thing I, I like about it. Uh, let's see, what's this one? This one is a cheapo Harbor Freight one, but it works. Uh, magnetic, all that, the easy red thing. Now listen, this one is the non-rechargeable. I would not buy this again. It works, but it's just, it ain't that great. It ain't that bright. My son's gonna end up with that. I gotta figure out a different type for that. What I'm gonna use for that situation. Uh, this one right here, this is the Harbor Freight. Love it, rechargeable. This one is worth just weight in gold. Buy this without a doubt. All right, so let's look at here. We got a Pittsburgh magnetic tray. This one's a Tecton. These Tecton trays are a lot better than the Pittsburgh. The magnet is so much stronger. Um, okay, and then uh, I just did a video on these Pittsburgh six inch ones. Um, I, I, I like the different colors um, and they work uh, and they were cheap. Um, let's see, Harbor Freight had a special. If you're a member of their club, you get 30% off anything over or $20 or less. And I ended up buying uh, some of these magnet trays, uh, some other stuff, but um, they're, you know, they work. All right. And then we have the OEM uh, battery terminal tool. Works great, love it, two sizes. Um, the trim tool uh, thing, I don't even know who makes it, but it, this is awesome, get this. Then we got a couple of quarter inch ratchets. Uh, one of them's a Williams made by Snap-on. This one's a gear wrench 120. And here's some um, extensions, quarter inch. Uh, I don't know if they're taked on a gear wrench. All right, a couple Dominator pry bars, uh, I mean a pick set, teched on pick set. Uh, the Milwaukee uh, little box cutter, Milwaukee scissors, works great. 
And uh, over here, I got the Olsa. Is it Olsa? Yeah, a uh, quarter inch magnetic holder for my quarter inch uh, SAE. And this is uh, the uh, Vim Tools um, uh, quarter inch, uh, yeah, what are them flex things called? Those things, uh, let's see, what else? All right, big Pittsburgh, I mean, uh, um, breaker bar, love it, works great, no problems, love to handle. Uh, back here, I have a set of, this is my half inch metric. It goes from, um, I don't know, six all the way to 27, no skips. But over the years, I lost a few or, or they didn't come with the set, so I swapped them out for some uh, Tecton or, or um, Gear Ranch or shoot, who knows, Craftsman. So anyway, the main thing is is, is to have one for every situation. And, and I got them. Uh, I'd rather have all the same kind, but it, I, it don't hang me up as long as as long as I have the the, the tool for the job. And then uh, same thing with my SAE set. Um, I do. I am missing this twenty six or what is this? No, one in the eighth. I gotta get the deep. Oh, and same thing with this one too. Look at that. One in one sixteenth or seven sixteenth? No, it's one in one sixteenth. Uh, let's see here. All right, we'll go over to ratchets. We got the gear wrench, uh, half inch, 92. Love it. The Carlisle 3 8 locking flex. The uh, snap on, uh, I forget what, 72 tooth one, uh, 3 8 long. And then the, the Matco uh, quarter inch, I don't know what this is, 72, 80, somewhere around there, whatever. Um, but they were good. If you know what it is, leave it in the comment on both the Snap-on and the Mecco. All right. So this is my SAE 3 8 set. And then um, the, the Flex ones, 3 8 drive. Uh, shoot. And then uh, over here, we have the... Um, most of these are OEM. Uh, and they're on the, um, the Ernst Rails. Ernst Rails, I, I like them, uh, but I'm debating whether to get uh, like this this type for for the three A's. This is the Aries, but the Aries and Ulta they're the same. They just have different colors, um, but I like them. They stick to the box good. Uh, the magnets work good. Uh, let's see, and then uh, we have the uh, the gear wrench. Um, these are. Uh, uh, the metric, I know it's on a red thing, but that's what I got for now. Uh, but they work good. Um, I'm thinking about getting that. Um, uh, oh, the Impact Astro ones. They got a good deal on them, uh, but I, I didn't buy them. I should have. So I, I'm still thinking about it. Three eighths. This is the uh, part of the bolt biter set for gear wrench. These these work. They get the job done. Let me tell you. Yes, indeed. This is both, as, you know, they, they have both sizes on, on the thing. This is worth getting. Uh, and then this is OEM, uh, small or shallow, 12-point metric. Good deal. They work. No skips. And then uh, quarter-inch. Um, I think these are Tectons. And then uh, what do we got here? Okay, this is the OEM SE set. And then here's some more mag rails with um, uh, the um, BIM tools, uh, shallow and deep SAE. Williams, nut driver. This is just some um, operand uh, magnetic uh, 5 8 uh, swivel spark plug thing. Uh, this works, this is uh, cheap Ames. Um, uh, temperature thing, but I like it. it works, gets the job done. Let's see. Uh, the Quinn um, torque adapter tool works great. Just put on the end of my ratchet, any size, three eighths, quarter half inch, works on all of them. Uh, what is this? This is just some random oil filter thing. All right, so. That's the top. Let's go into the first drawer. 
This is uh, just a bunch of random stuff, brushes, goop, uh, Permtex, uh, scrapers. Um, this is the Gear Ranch 3 8 uh, Yeah, whatever. Extensions, brushes, lock in there, no big deal. Nothing really to look at, let's see. This right here is just um, my ratchet wrenches, gear wrench, uh, SAM metric, uh, coolant checker, some cheap uh, crescent wrench, uh, gear wrench brake tool, for rear drum brakes, some pry bar, I never even used that. Um, more brake tools for drum brakes, battery cleaners, um, uh, to, to uh, compress uh, radiator hoses, different hoses. What else we got here? Brake bleeder thingy, OEM, uh, tire depth gauge, uh, fuse checker, scan tool. This works okay, but I got other ones. Um, let's see, file. What else we got in here? All right, so moving on. Oop, maybe not. All right, we got that closed. I guess we'll we'll go over here to my plier drawer. All right. Um, this ain't all my pliers. It's just the ones I can fit in this cart. Um, but uh, they're in here because they're they're the the best of what I got, um, and they all serve a purpose. Um, let's see. This right here is the trim tool thing. Uh, this right here is the thing of channel locks or not channel locks. Well, they're um, Tecton set. Uh, this what is this? It's pretty cool. I like these. Um, I forget who makes them. Oh, Carlisle. Grim tool. All right. Uh, stripper. Uh, these are uh, a Harbor Freight one. Um, I like them. A nice grip. They get the job done, and the price was right. This is some um, uh, Irwin. Uh, Look at these. These work pretty good. Pulling different things. Uh, let's see right here. Oh, you guys all know these. Knipix. Uh, let's see. Doo, doo, doo. All right, this is the... These are new. Um, part of the bolt biter set. Uh, I just did a video on these. I don't have to go over these. But I tell you what. Man, these will cut anything. I love, I love this dip uh, handles. It's real thick. Comfortable in the hand. Uh, Liming pliers. Tell you what, take a look at these. These, these are worth getting. Another uh, Knipix. Uh, and then just some vice grips, some uh, clamp off a radiator hose or something. And then the long things. Uh, these are cool. Um, I forget who makes this. Let's, let's just see. Now that this is cool, um, these are like the vent pliers, but actually, uh, this company was around a lot longer before the vent pliers. And then uh, the channel lock, um, uh, yeah, spring. Uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. All right, let's see what's in this one. Uh, uh, let's see. This is the wrench wrench drawer. Um, this one has, uh, this is my gear inch set. Um, let's see. Goes all the way up to 22 from, I think, 8, eight to 22. And then a uh, half inch all the way up to 1 inch. You got the gear wrench, uh, stubby ratchet wrenches, both SA and metric. And a couple more uh, um, ratchets. Ah, I like this. It's, this is a cheap ratchet, but I like to use this half inch horn speed. Um, it's just this handles comfortable to use And this is the, the gear wrench spark plug ratchet and then here's another 3 8 gear wrench 92 stop grip All right, and what do we got down here? Let's see uh, Here We got um, Different things. Oh, yeah, here's that other Wilton smash the big one. I was telling you about Pretty cool. Look at this thing. Whack the floor out of stuff. Uh, I just did a video on this. The Lyle um, compression tool doohickey. Uh, <coughs> this is a uh, battery checker from, from Harbor Freight. 
a good deal. It puts a load on it. Uh, I, I this works great. Uh, Teched on a um, oil filter wrench. I just got picked this up. This is the oil filter OEM kit. You know, put on the bottom of the filters, turn them off. Uh, C clamp. The uh, this is a uh, torque wrench. Uh, what's the name of this company? But anyway, uh, it works great. Love it. Uh, this is just another uh, oil filter tool from Harbor Freight. Uh, let me tell you what. This thing right here, this is a, a multimeter. And uh, and it's a piece of, piece of crap. This is one of those digital ones where it'll automatically uh, determine if you're doing... Um, volts or, or um, uh, uh, amps or uh, uh, continuity test, whatever, it'll pick it all by itself. But the problem I'm having, the stupid button went out. I can't turn it on or off. I can take out the batteries, put it on, it'll pop on, but I can't turn it off. It will time out after 15 minutes, but um, I, I like that it came in this case. Uh, let me show you. Because I was going to use this one in my to-go bag. Uh, when I'm on the road. So what I did is I put my Jeep Harbor Freight one in there and hey, bada boom, bada bing. Uh, at least I got something out of the deal. I think I paid like 29 bucks for that. It's garbage, don't get it. Um, here we got the uh, the gear wrench spark plug thing. Uh, I just picked this up. Um, I gotta do a video on it. Been wanting this, oh no, I'm sorry, that's Serpentine one. But that's cool, good stuff. Uh, but this is the one I was, I was just talking about. Uh, I've been wanting this for a long time and I've been waiting for it to go on a sale. And uh, it finally did. Every time I looked, they wanted like 53 bucks for it. And during Amazon Prime, it dropped down to 42 bucks and I said, holy cow. And I finally, finally uh, bit the bullet and bought it. Okay, so, and then down here, um, we got, I got this bag, uh, let's see, this is, this is what I, my, uh, this is my traveling, uh, diagnostic kit, um, pros and, and, uh, you know, different things, crimps, wire leads, all that kind of stuff, uh, wires, you know, south wire strippers, uh, here I also have, uh, what is this? Oh, this is the ABN uh, brake kit. I just did a video on that. And one of my favorite, the Power Pro set. Love this thing. Excellent. All right. So anyway, um, that's just a quick tour. Uh, now that I got room in these two, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to set it up. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm just messing around with it. Um, this ain't the final destination. But, um, uh, it's just work in progress. Um, and then, man, I got, I really have to do something about all these carpentry and plumbing and electrical tools. Uh, it's just a mess. So it's all just a work in progress. Um, uh, let me show you a few other things that I'm working on. Uh, I'm going to get ready to do videos on, on these tools and here, you guys are lucky. You're getting an early, early view of a series I'm going to do. I just picked this up. Uh, this is a British Stratton uh, 8 horsepower uh, generator. Uh, this generator is made by Coleman. It's pretty old. Um, it has issues like this tire. But you wouldn't believe what I paid for this thing. I went to this flea market thing near where I live and I was looking at some things and, and I didn't even know this guy was selling this. It was kind of in the corner and I asked him, I said, how much you want for that generator? You know, I hadn't heard it run or nothing. And he says, um, if you buy it today, I'll sell it to you for 50 bucks. And I'm like, oh, okay. That sounds pretty cool. But, um, I had, you know, I didn't hear it run or nothing. So I went home and I thought about it and I'm like, even if, even if I can't get it running, it might be worth it. I might have to pay a few dollars and put parts in it. But I said, you know what? I'm going to go get it. 
So I went over there and um, and we, we couldn't get it started. And then I took the filter off and I sprayed some uh, uh, brake, brake parts cleaner in there, pulled the trigger and man, it fired up. Now it didn't stay running. So I think it's just a, a carburetor fuel problem. So anyway, I'm gonna do a series on that, uh, taking it apart, cleaning it up, servicing it, and all that good stuff. But listen, I wanna uh, thank you um, for joining Jones and for Tools, um, supporting us by watching these videos. Um, we appreciate it. We value your time because your time is important. And uh, if you like this type of content, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Um, like the video and and leave a comment um if you think i should have got the bigger uh, tool cart say hey dummy you should have bought it save some more buy the bigger one all right and if you want me to um the, i want to reduce the the load on here and i'm just going to put on here what i really need when i bring it out there you know to use on a regular basis. I don't need all this weight. So tell me if you think how to do that or leave it the way it is. But listen, I wanna thank you again. I uh, hope you all have a good night and we will see you next time. Thank you.